morning students today we are going to discuss about message passing systems versus shared memory system in the course distributed systems the subject code is cs8603 it comes under unit 1 the learning objectives are we have to know the difference between message passing system as well as the shared memory system and we have to know the concepts behind both of these models so always the communication among the processors takes place either through message passing model or through shared memory model so if we go with shared memory model so the communication takes place through the shared data variable and the control variable in order to synchronize between the processors so what is message passing system so that is the sending process and the receiving process both are communicating with one another with the help of read and write primitive and the read and write takes place through the message queue both the sender and receiver are not connected with each other directly in between the sender and the receiver we have the message queue so the messages are stored in the queue until the recipient retrieves them so these are very useful for inter process communication and this message queues are used by most of the operating system so what is shared memory system means so here we have the shared memory it is the memory that can be simultaneously accessed by multiple processes so this is done so that the processes can communicate with each other for example if the sending process wants to communicate with the receiving process Uh, he may use the shared memory for communication so the communication takes place either via the shared data variable or shared control variable so in order to achieve the synchronization we may use the semaphores and monitors so if the shared memory model is implemented in distributed environment then it is called as a distributed shared memory model so the first one shows uh, the message passing model the first figure shows the message passing model so here the processes are communicating with each other okay through the message queue so the process send the message and the message is stored in the queue until the receiver receives the message so that is message passing model the another model is shared memory model so here the processes are communicating through the shared memory either that they can use the shared data variable or shared control variable now we are going to see the differences between message passing model and the shared memory model so in message passing model the variables have to be marshaled so marshaling and marshaling means packing the variables into some object or some packet okay this is known as a marshaling so before transmitting the message or before transmitting the variable to the receiver process first it should be marshaled and then it is transmitted at the receiver side again it is unmarshaled into variables whereas in distributed shared memory we don't need the concept of marshaling so here the variables are shared directly the processes can communicate with other processes so they can be protected from one another by having a private address space that is in message passing model we have the private address space so you can protect a process from one another but in shared memory model we don't have a private address space so one process can alter the execution of the other in message passing model it is applicable for heterogeneous computers whereas the distributed shared memory model cannot be used for heterogeneous computer so how we achieve the synchronization in message passing model means with the help of the primitives whereas in distributed shared memory model we go with logs and semaphore to achieve the synchronization so the processes communicating via the message passing must execute at the same time whereas in distributed shared memory model they may be executed in a non overlapping life spans or lifetimes then how can you emulate a message passing in a shared memory model okay so the shared memory can be made to act as a message passing system so here the shared address space is partition into disjoint part and one part is assigned to each processor that is we are emulating message passing 
on a shared memory system we have the shared memory system but you can emulate message passing on the above so that is emulating message passing on a shared memory system so here the shared address space is partition into disjoint sets and each set is assigned to the processor and for send and receive operation you can go with the usual read and write from the destination or sender process address space but anyway we need the synchronization okay so similarly you can emulate a shared memory on a message passing system so it is also implemented with the help of read and write operation so each shared location is modeled as a separate process so if we want to write some data to that shared location means first we have to send an update message to the owner process and then you can issue the read operation by sending a query message to the owner process but anyway this is quite expensive process because we have to gain access to other process memory location so with this we are concluding the topic thank you